So this week, um, we will continue our second type of data analysis. So that is uh, for the Rust data analysis. So it is similar to the VAC data analysis that Rust data analysis are also the commonly used um, geoprocessing tools for the Rust data. And also, I highly recommend that uh, when you are watching those uh, lecture videos and you follow the demos that I'm doing here um, during the lectures so that uh, we can have a better understanding of those those Rust data analysis. And also, so learning those tools is important. And I think the, mo the, the most important part is that how you can think about how to use those tools to resolve the real world problems. Um, like either in your um, uh, projects or um, or in your discipline. Okay. Uh, so first, let's review that what is Rust data. So Rust data are the uh, a set of the continuous pixels. So the Rust data can be like the most common one, like like the satellite images, um, DEMs, uh, digital elevation models, uh, and also the air photos. Okay, and we have kind of uh, uh, downloaded those data into ArcGIS Pro, and also we, we viewed those data sets in ArcGIS Pro. So basically, they are a set of continuous pixels, and each single pixel has a unique digital value. So it can be either um, the height of that pixel, so that um, uh, that is for DEM, or it can be the reflections in that band, so for example, if it is an air photo, that it can be the band in the red band, uh, green band, or blue band, or it can be in the near infrared band. Okay, so those are the most commonly used bands. Um, and the digital uh, numbers are also refer as a digital number. So those, uh, it can be the reflections, or uh, it can also be the elevations, or it can be sometimes the categorical data, like the type of the land use. For example, sometimes if we see the resident land, we use one, and also if that is the commercial land, and we use a number two, for example. So, so sometimes those numbers can also represent the uh, the categorical data. And the Rust data sometimes uh, can simplify many types of spatial analysis. Um, that if you're using VAC data, so that will be um, a very um, uh, inefficient, uh, not very uh, effective. Uh, so, for example, that is the NDVI, NDVI calculation. Okay, so that is the very uh, most po one of the very popular index that we calculated for from those images. So, depending on the uh, uh, the reflections in the in different bands, so that NDVI calculation, so normally we will use the Rust data. Because if you are using polygons, then the data set will be, data volume will be very huge. And also, for example, when sometimes we want to cal calculate the slope, okay, so based on the DEM, and in that case, uh, Rust data set will be very, very efficient. Okay, uh, so that uh, it's more faster than the vector data. So that's why that sometimes we also we prefer using Rust data instead of vector data in the data analysis. Okay, uh, so now let's um, go to our ArcGIS Pro and uh, let's create a new project. And so as we did in the uh, in the lecture uh, 7, so we are going to create a new project for this lecture, lecture 8, and we are going to try some Rust data analysis first. So let's create a new a map project and let's call it lecture eight. And I'm going to again create that one to my uh, OneDrive folder. Okay, and you can see I already created folder, so that is for my for demo, so now I'm going to create a new folder, lec2, um, v2, okay. So now I created an empty folder, 
And this one I used for the test before this lecture, so you can just simply create lecture 8 if you don't have that one yet. And cl click OK. So now we are going to create a new project. Uh, so before we start, try some Rust data analysis. So I want to download some data that uh, we have we have used earlier so uh, through this semester so we are going to download an DEM we are going to download an uh, images uh, air photos and also we are going to download the Landsat images so uh, if we go to the portal so I already uploaded the data that for this lecture and also for the lab so let's go to all portal and first let's search image uh, Harrisonburg Okay, and you will see that there's a package called image in Harrisonburg and also make sure that I am the owner. Let's drag that one to our map. Okay, so that is an air photo. Uh, second one, let's search DEM Harrisonburg. Okay, so that is a DEM. Let's drag that one to our project. Okay, so that is DM that within the Harrisonburg uh, boundary. Uh, the last one, let's search Landsat. Harrisonburg. And remember, we are using this one, Landsat Harrisonburg. We are not using Harrisonburg Landsat 8. And this one we cannot drag directly to the map. This is a zip folder, so if you are interested, you have to go to ArcGIS Online and download that zip folder. So let's drag this one, Landsat Harrisonburg. Okay, uh, so now we have those three rasters. Um, so right now we are viewing those rasters um, uh, from the server, so let's also export those raster data set into our local um, folder. So first, let's right-click the her land set and let's say export raster. And you can see the coordination. So we are using UTM zone 17, which is nice. And we are going to export to our uh, folder. So that's great. And let's click export. Okay. Uh, so now you can see this has been exported to our uh, local folder. Okay, so if we go to the project, our folder, we can see the Landsat. And if you expand the Landsat images of the Harrisonburg, uh, you will see there are multiple bands, okay, green, near infrared, red, so that's nice. And we can remove this Landsat Harrisonburg, which uh, was downloaded from the portal, so we just keep the one in our local. Uh, for some reason, they added those uh, black <laughs> areas, but which is nice, which is fine. So we um, next, let's also do the same thing for the DM. So let's export the, the DM. Uh, for the DM, you can see the coordination. It does not have a uh, PCS, so let's choose a PCS. So let's say we want to use the same one as Harrisonburg, okay, which is uh, UTM Zoom uh, North 17, okay, so that's fine, that's that's great, and let's export that one, okay, and now we have the DEM, okay, so if we refresh our folder, okay, so we also have the DEM. So let's remove this one. Okay. Um, the last is the image. So let's also export the image to our local folder. And you can see for this image, uh, we are using a state plan, uh, Virginia North. And that also is fine. So let's export that image. And that also should be in our catalog. So you can see in our uh, project folder, we should have three uh, images. So the Landsat, the DEM, and also the air photos. So air photo now, right now is okay. So now air photo is, is here. Okay. So now if we refresh 
Okay, so we have the air photos as well. And we can also uh, remove this uh, one that is from our um, access portal. So now we have those three images. Okay, so what we did is was down, downloading from all portals, Landsat, Landsat DM, and also um, Airfoot images. And next, we export all those three images to our local project folder. And not for the DM, because it does not have an um, coordination, so we define the UTM to so the same as a Landsat. 